Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down this winter storm that is beginning to ramp up across parts of the Midwest in the Ohio Valley and this is going to bring a lot more problems over the next 24 hours including the threat of ice accumulation which will lead to travel impacts and power outages. In addition to this we're watching for the snow threat tonight into tomorrow morning and as well as a big pattern change that is going to be coming to the United States over the next seven 72 hours and this will bring a lot more rainfall to a large chunk of the country in addition to much warmer weather i'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's hop right into this winter storm that is impacting the united states and this is the infrared imagery right now and it gives you an idea of what's right now happening in the united states with the clouds aloft and the cloud temperatures and notice what we have right now is a large plume of moisture coming out of the gulf of mexico this is all due to a strong southerly wind and an upper level low that is located back near the Texas Panhandle now and this is basically allowing for all this moisture to surge to the north and east bringing the potential for rain freezing rain and as well as snow as we go into tonight and this trend is going to continue over the next several hours and also the red color there that is representing cold cloud tops aloft so it gives you an idea that some of these pockets here are actually heavier totals of rain that are falling right now that's a cool little feature that you can depict here with the infrared imagery now let's talk more about this winter weather event that'll be ramping up across the United States over the next 24 hours because it's not done yet. We're still talking about the threat of snowfall and as well as ice accumulation across parts of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. And we're going to break this down for you in detail, including the future radar here. I just want to throw out a quick reminder to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel down below. We are going to continue to post daily updates on this storm and the upcoming storms because there's going to be a lot of activity here over the next five to seven days. And we're going to again break that all down in detail for you in this forecast. Beginning with tonight, we'll have freezing rain stretching from Kansas back back into parts of the Midwest. Now, this will not be impacting every single location in this black circle, but some of these areas will be dealing with freezing rain that could accumulate some ice in addition to the potential for isolated power outages and travel impacts. By tomorrow morning, the freezing rain will still be ongoing, but it's going to continue to lift further to the north, and it's going to be in a very thin stretched area from about Kansas and Nebraska back into Pennsylvania and New York, and that's mainly because of the fact that warmer air is also rising up to the north. In addition to this, for for those that have seen ice in Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and as well as Texas over the past 24 hours, and I'm talking about like Southern Missouri, so back down in like the Southern Plains, those areas in particular, it's going to be pretty warm as we go into tomorrow and as well as Wednesday. So any ice that has accumulated down here for the most part will be melted off by no later than tomorrow afternoon. Some elevated surfaces and perhaps bridges and overpasses could still be slick though all the way through the afternoon. As we go into Tuesday afternoon, we are going to be dealing with some snowfall across areas from Iowa back into the Northeast including New York and eventually going into Tuesday night that system weakens and we're going to be basically done with that winter storm threat then once we go into Wednesday we'll be dealing with some showers and storms stretching from the Ohio Valley back into the Dixie Alley and as well as along the Gulf Coast wouldn't rule out a couple of isolated severe storms in southern Louisiana perhaps even near areas like Mobile Alabama but I think the threat overall will be low and then once we go into Thursday and Friday showers and storms continue and we might even see some sort of disturbance develop by the week weekend or on the later half of the weekend that might bring some sort of wintry weather aspect to it but we're still very far out from that event and there's definitely some uncertain details with that as of right now all right here are the watches and warnings across the united states right now we do have winter weather advisories in effect from kansas all the way back into areas like new york and pennsylvania the winter storm warnings the ice storm warnings have all been canceled at this point across areas in arkansas oklahoma and southern missouri so we're done with that but we are still going to be dealing with some ice accumulation and as well as snow fall across this entire region so be very mindful of that here over the next 24 to 48 hours including areas in the northeast which we'll be breaking down for you here in just a second now here's the future radar for tonight beginning with the ohio valley and the midwest notice right now we do have some freezing rain that's picking up a little bit north of st louis near areas in central illinois and back through northern indiana but this is going to wrap up a lot more tonight so around seven eight o'clock tonight we're going to be looking at more freezing rain especially some heavier pockets of that across areas in indiana Indiana, Northwest Ohio and central and northern parts of Illinois and then back over in northern sections of Missouri and even back over in eastern Kansas we'll have a couple of pockets of light freezing rain so be mindful of that there could be a little bit of ice accumulation there then once we go overnight tonight freezing rain will ramp up across areas in Ohio back through Indiana and as well as Illinois we'll still be dealing with some pockets of freezing rain near Kansas City Kansas City probably will not get much in terms of ice accumulation from here on out but there 
there might be at least a little bit there. It's going to be kind of spotty, I would say, more than anything. Once we go into the morning hours tomorrow, this is around sunrise. Notice we'll have light to moderate freezing rain stretching from northern Indiana back into northern Ohio. We'll be dealing with snow from Iowa back into the northeast, which I'll be showing you here in just a second. And by around 9 in the morning, that freezing rain will start to wind down across areas in northern Indiana and Ohio. Warmer air moves in, and the only freezing rain left by really late Tuesday afternoon into the evening hours will be back up in Michigan. And we're going to show you what that looks like here in just a second. But let's go into the ice accumulation that we're expecting. Right now, this is a pretty good estimate. I think some areas could probably be a little bit higher, perhaps in like central Illinois, for example. But overall, many areas will see anywhere from a glazing of ice up to a tenth of an inch of ice. I wouldn't rule out, though, a few areas, especially back over here in northern Indiana and northern Ohio. I would not rule out some areas getting between a quarter of an inch of ice to a half an inch of ice. Not everybody will, but there will definitely be at least some people that will get that sort of amount of ice, especially back up here in northern Indiana and even southern Michigan. I think that's a bit of an underestimate in some of those areas. And then back over into southern um, Iowa as well, there will be some ice accumulation there. Most of that will be anywhere from a glazing up to a tenth of an inch of ice. Now, for those in the Midwest, we'll be dealing with some freezing rain. Notice we'll be dealing with more snow than anything, though. A very thin area of snow, probably one of the thinnest and longest areas of snow that I've seen in quite some time on the radar, stretching from anywhere from Nebraska back into uh, Pennsylvania. It's a really small area, but for those that see this snow, it's going to be light, moderate, and perhaps even heavy at times. So that will definitely accumulate pretty quickly. Once we get closer to Tuesday morning, so this is just after sunrise around 10 a.m., notice snow is still going to be ongoing across Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan. By the afternoon, a lot of that snowfall starts to wind down in the Midwest. We'll still have some light to moderate snow remaining in Michigan, and also there will be a little bit of freezing rain, maybe some freezing drizzle remaining in those areas as we go into late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And Wednesday morning, we might get a couple pockets of freezing rain in Iowa and southern Wisconsin, but overall, it will be very isolated. Now, in terms of ice accumulation in the Midwest, notice again, most areas will be around a tenth of an inch of ice, perhaps even a little bit lower than that. Southern Michigan, again, I think will be a bit higher than what this is showing. I'd expect more in the ballpark of a tenth of an inch of ice and upwards, perhaps a couple isolated areas getting near half an inch of ice. But I think, again, that'll be very, very isolated. And then back over near Chicago suburbs, I think overall many of those areas will be anywhere from a glazing to perhaps about a tenth of an inch of ice overall. In terms of total snowfall accumulation, most areas not going to see anything like the winter storm we had a couple weeks ago, but there will be some snow anywhere from a coating to a couple inches across parts of the Midwest. Near the Chicago suburbs, there'll be a couple areas that get between two to four inches of snow, and I would not rule out an isolated spot getting to a half a foot of snow. That's the kind of event that we're in. And then back over in Michigan, almost the entire state will at least see a coating, but some areas will see as much as two to four inches of snow with, again, an isolated half a foot of snow being possible, primarily just north of Detroit, back near Kalamazoo. That would be the range that I'd be expecting for perhaps six inches of snow in an isolated spot. For the northeast, most of the activity that we're going to be seeing up here is going to consist of snowfall. This is 10 a.m. tomorrow. Notice light to moderate snow across parts of western New York, northern Pennsylvania. A lot of this will be pretty much on and off. We're not going to see it happen all day long, but this will go all the way through Tuesday into Wednesday morning, where some light snow will move into the northeast, including the New England region, with a little bit of light to moderate snow being possible, but that should remain pretty isolated. In terms of ice accumulation, I do think many of these areas will at least see somewhere in the ballpark of a glazing to a maybe a 20th of an inch of ice. We could see a couple isolated spots get a little bit higher than that, but that'd be a pretty overall scattered event that'll be consisting of areas from Pennsylvania and northern New Jersey back into parts of New York. In terms of total snowfall accumulation, many areas are going to see anywhere from a coating to two inches of snow. We'll also have a couple of spots that pick up between two to four inches of snow, primarily in upstate New York and perhaps a little bit there of northeastern parts of Pennsylvania. Now, upcoming, we're going to have a much more detailed forecast on this tomorrow, but overall, the weather pattern is going to get very active as we go into over the next few days. Notice as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have another upper level low develop, and this will bring a lot more shower activity and thunderstorms across parts of the eastern tier of the United States. That also could bring the threat of some isolated severe weather, but also this will be bringing a lot of rainfall. And when I mean a lot of rainfall, this also includes what we've already seen today, but we'll be talking about some areas picking up as much as four to seven inches of rainfall, stretching from Arkansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky, all the way back into Louisiana. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep you posted with the latest.